All right, don't try this at home. I've got super concentrated hydrochloric acid. The concentration is about 12 molar, um, which puts it at a pH of about minus one. You can go off the scale. This is so acidic um, that it's below the regular pH scale, minus one. It's very volatile. The vapors are very strong. You don't want to breathe these in. Over here, I've got sodium hydroxide, which is a very strong base. I'm going to make a very super concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide. I can feel this is getting warm. But I can make it even stronger or more concentrated by adding a little bit more. I'm going to take sodium hydroxide, my base, hydrochloric acid, my, my acid. They're both strong acid and strong base. They're also very concentrated, and we are going to get them to neutralize each other. So we're going to do a titration, a rough titration. I'm going to use bromothymol blue as my indicator, and I'm going to start with my acid. Should be enough. A little bit of bromothymol blue indicator. Now, bromothymol blue in an acid usually it's it is yellow. But what happens when we've got a really strong acid? We get a red color, and that's my experience. So I'm going to take this super concentrated. You know what? I can actually even make it even more concentrated than this. I've already dissolved about four teaspoons of sodium hydroxide in a small amount of water. So that is about as concentrated as you're going to get. Let's make sure it all dissolves. So I'm going to pour the sodium hydroxide solution into the acid. So concentrated base into concentrated acid and we are going to try and neutralize that acid with this base. And we are going to be shooting for a green color. Because in bromothymol blue, green means neutral. I've got goggles and I've got gloves. And that's definitely important. I don't want to get any of this on my skin. I think I've dissolved as much of that as I can. So, I want you to listen and observe when I put the, the base in the acid. That is an exothermic reaction. Immediately the water is actually boiling. Now, I've got some acid jumping out there, that's why it's not something you really want to do at home. But let's keep going, I'm just going to put a little bit in. Immediately it's boiling. But I don't know what else, if you guys could see, inside there we are getting some white stuff forming. That white stuff is actually sodium chloride. We're taking an acid and a base and we're making salt and water. You can actually see the salt forming inside that beaker. I'm 
looking for a green color. Definitely an exothermic reaction, you can see all the steam rising. So what we're forming in there is salt. All of that white stuff you see inside there is salt. But I'm still trying to look for my green color. Getting a few different colors forming there. I saw some blue, which means we're getting close. We're getting close to neutral. You can see the, the blue color forming there, which means that the bromothermal blue is showing me I'm getting base at the top. But when I mix it up, got blue okay so that milkiness there is salt forming we're making sodium chloride water I'm hoping we've got enough to neutralize this acid So that's telling me I've got a base because it's blue. But when I stir it, the blue goes. I'm looking for green. You can see what's happened to the spoon because of the heat. Well, okay, so I went too far. I now have a basic solution. I want to get a neutral solution, so I need to add a little bit of acid just to reverse the process. Now back to base. We're going to do one drop at a time. That is my neutral solution. You can see the green at the top. All of this below here is salt. There's a huge amount of salt forming because I had a very strong uh, concentrated solution of hydrochloric acid and a very strong uh, sodium hydroxide solution. That's why we made so much salt. But green tells me it's neutral. And as dangerous are the, as these things to cut, as dangerous as hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide is. That's very salty. <laughs> 